say, wow, your dad worked in the pipeline business and then you followed that path. I would love to tell people that I had this grand plan and there was a plan that I was going to, to do this and major in this and do this and then I didn't have a plan. I grew up in a little town called White Oak. I was born in Gladewater because White Oak did not have a medical facility. I just can't imagine a better life. I had great parents. My mother was a housewife most of her life, raising kids and doing a, a fantastic job of that. Four boys. My dad did not have much ambition. A very bright guy, wonderful guy, but he was very content with his life and, and, and I've always admired that. I think there was many things I learned from my parents that I didn't know I was learning. Uh, uh, for example, my dad was the most ethical human being I've ever known. My mother was a very honest person too, but yet I wouldn't play cards against her. She'd cheat if she could, <laughs> you know? When I graduated from college, the highest paying job that I could get was a pipeline company, and I took it. So I've just had this series of events that have guided me along the way that are just really fortuitous events for me, and, and uh, I find myself here today. Education is enormous. And education is a process. You must immerse yourself in it, and you must get as much as you can. I mean, I'm learning every day. There's no value you can put on experience, and the only way to get it is to immerse yourself into something, surround yourself with really bright people, and watch them, study them, learn from them. There's a saying that never mess with a man that has principles and the money to back them up. I would like to think I'm not that person. I would like to think whether I'm doing well financially or, or not, the principles are the same and that, that they're defended with the same vigor. I'm very content with where my life is right now. I've got a wonderful wife. Her name's Amy. She's an incredible lady. How she's with me, I'll never know. Becoming a member of the Horatio Alger Association is a very, very big deal for me and my family. When I found out that they would like to induct me, I thought, you've got to be kidding me. So, so number one, I get honored, which is, this has got to be the biggest sham that the public's ever seen, that, that I'm being inducted. And, and then, but secondly, I get to do something really good for young people. I, I, that's, that's a big deal.